So today we're going to be working on a 2013 or 2015 MacBook Air that does not turn on. The customer complains of liquid damage and we're going to take a look and see what is keeping the board from turning on. So as always before testing I have unplugged the I.O. board and inspected the I.O. connector and unplugged the trackpad connector. Both of these things can keep the machine from turning on if there's an issue with one of them. If we plug in our power supply, we can see the board takes 0.42 milliamps. There's going to be no green light from the charger, of course, because the I.O. board is unplugged. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and start measuring some rails. So the first rail we're going to check is going to is PP bus G3 hot, and that's going to be right over here by this fuse. So the PP bus G3 hot fuse is right here. So you can see somebody else's me maybe possibly measured right there because there's a scratch there. So let's get our multimeter, put it on voltage mode. And we're going to measure, measure PP bus G3 hot. Measuring PP bus G3 hot, here's my meter. We're going to put our black lead on ground, and a red lead on PP bus G3 hot, and we can see that that is 8.55 volts, so there's no issue there. So the next step that I have to do is take the board out of the enclosure and give it, in, uh, give it inspection on the other side. So most likely there's going to be liquid right around the edge of the board, possibly near the clock chip or the ISL circuit. Okay, with the board out of the enclosure, we're going to give it a visual inspection as always. Let's see if we see any liquids. So here's our RAM, here's our camera circuit, and here's our ISL. The ISL area looks really nice. Everything looks pretty good so far. Backlight driver looks okay. SMC area looks okay. Clock circuit, we have a little bit of liquid near the clock circuit. So um where is so Here's our clock circuit. There was some liquid here. This isn't too bad yet. We're we're not gonna blame this yet. We are going to um, we're not gonna blame this yet. So we're gonna keep looking. And what is this? Hmm. This looks like corrosion. This looks no good. Now let's see what this does. So let's pull up a board view and see what this does. Looking at the board view, we can see the corroded area is one by U1950, but we see that this is going to be U80, U8160, and this looks like it has something to do with Alsys Power Good, uh, PP1V05, VMON, so voltage monitor, PP, P5V, uh, voltage divider, VMON, PP3V3SO, so there could be a short in any one of the rails, and this looks pretty bad, so we're going to go ahead and replace this and clean it, um, and uh, we're going to see who we get. We're always going to start with the proper amount of Amtec NC559 flux. I'm going to kick on our fume extractor and turn our hot air station up to 430 Celsius at max airflow. I'm going to preheat the board a little bit from far away. Preheating the board always. Um, Helps alleviate thermal stress on it. You don't really want to burn the board too quick. I hate when the position of my elbow on the chair makes my hand shake like that. If I sit in the chair too long, like yesterday when I worked until 1 a.m., that'll tend to happen. So we're going to clean this up, add a little bit of leaded solder. Leaded, leaded solder assists in um, helping get rid of the old lead-free solder. If, if, if you tend to wick lead-free solder, it will just... Um, it's just going to make a huge mess, so this kind of helps. And in, in a package like this, all we really need is some flux. We don't even need to wick this. So, I'm going to put a little bit more flux down. See? Nice and clean. No need for wicking. Here's our replacement chip. Let's solder this down. And that is soldered. We're going to let the board cool. Let's touch it up with our iron a little bit. I 
Everything looks good. It doesn't even need to be touched up. Should be cool enough now that we could plug it in. And hopefully we get a nice fan spin. So here's our fan. And our charger is right here. We're going to plug in our charger. We need an I.O. board to plug in our charger first. So let's grab an I.O. board. I.O. board is plugged in. Charger is plugged in. Let's give it a minute. And our fan is spinning. This MacBook is fixed. Spinning fan, fixed MacBook.